is Christ and turn away from Mystery of Babylon. All right, now listen. Our lives are on the cusp of significant change. The events in the coming months and years will test our faith and understanding, highlighting the spiritual battle we've all been fighting for quite some time. But this spiritual battle has been present since the beginning of time. In the past, Nimrod conceived the idea of building the Tower of Babel. This tower symbolized wicked desire. The Nephilim, the beings born of the ungodly union between angels and demons, tampered with God's creation, creating giants and destruction, leading humanity to love, sin, and evil, which led to a catastrophic fall, which God gave humanity another chance. And today, with the wicked rulers in place who traced their ancestry back to the gods on the other side of the flood, with the same vendetta against God and humanity in their hearts, we find ourselves repeating ancient patterns. As believers, we must keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, humble ourselves, and cultivate authentic faith that shows through in our actions. The coming challenges are designed to deceive and shape our faith. Scripture in Matthew 24 and 25 warns us about false Christs and the need to be prepared like the wise virgins who had oil in their lamps. We are also called to be prepared and to stay vigilant. Mark 13, 35 through 37. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Do you want to be prepared for Jesus' second coming? Then live like his first coming matter. The battle we face is serious, and our response must be rooted in spiritual readiness. It is imperative for us to stay focused on the teachings of the Bible, stand firm on the foundation of Jesus Christ, and engage in prayer daily in order to stand firm amidst the challenges that follow. I have an article about the importance of prayer, and it's 